Hello and welcome to another episode of The Bryce Side. Today, Bryce is at work. The sun is shining, which is the first time it's done that. Maybe a week. Look, it's blue sky out there. So I've decided that I'm gonna brave it, take the kids out on my own, and we're gonna to head to Ennis Garden to go and see some baby dragons. So, I've got my hat, I've got my phone. What else could I need? We have made it to Ennis Gardens and here are we dragons. We are going on a dragon egg hunt. How do you feel? Happy. So we have our map and as you can see all the stars, that's the route we've got to follow. And there's 13 different eggs on the back that we've got to find. So we'll share those with you as we go. So I've never been to Ennis Gardens before, neither of the kids. Um, and we're actually really quite excited because it just sounds really cool. When they've run this event a few times, the um, Cornish Dragon Conservation Society. So we're, uh, we're going to check it out and let you guys know how it goes. It looks like we have found our first egg. Where's the letter? It's beautiful. Where's the letter? And, and it's called the Chinese Claw. The letter is there. So now we've found it, what do we need to do? We need to write the red next to the egg right there. Okay, well let's go do that. Which way is it, AJ? That way. Can you show me? Because there's everyone over there, so I guess we have to go Uh-oh. Tilly's noticed a gathering of people. So let's go see. It's very muddy. Uh-oh, Wellies was definitely the right call. <coughs> oh, there's a sign. What does the sign say? Do not touch the eggs. You may be eaten. Oh, and what have we found? AJ, we found a spiky one! Yeah! So we're carefully writing our letter down. We've just found the diamond one. To leave you written yours down? And it was hiding in this little hut over here. Very, very beautiful here. You can see why dragons would come here and nest and lay their eggs. Got an AJ there. And then Matilda trying to have a bath in the bird bath. So this is the flower garden. And then maybe Camera. in the distance, some sort of dragon egg over there. But that is a very cool rock. Let me see it. Very cool rock. So let's head down here and see what's in that cage. Oh, what have we got over here? The Ennis Orchard. I wonder what's in the orchard. What dragons do you think would live in an orchard? There we go, the Ennis Orchard. Lots of trees. So we found a sign that says the burrow this way. And that says the burrow. Children must be supervised at all times. Do you think that's because dragons might eat you? Yeah? I think that says the burrow this way. So let's go. The burrow is actually quite a fun place for the kids to explore. There's all tunnels set up for them to run through. There's a few benches around. It looks very cool. It reminds me of being a little hobbit. So Tilly has just spotted these up in the tree. So we're gonna head over there in a second and see what letter it is and try and match it with the right ones on our map. I think it might be these ones. So we thought whilst we're in the burrow and there's these very conveniently placed picnic tables that we'd stop and have a little snack and a drink um, before we carry on. Five! I can't We've them. found five. So what have we found? We found the China Claw, the Grist Corn, mm. the Poison Green. What else have we found? Bismuth Black mm. and mm. the Elven Diamond Belly. So we're doing well. We found five out of 13 so far. So how are you finding it so far? Good? Are the eggs easy to find or hard to find? Easy. Easy so far? I think hard. You think hard, fair enough. And what do you think of Venice Gardens? 
Do we like it here? Is it pretty? I like it. Do you like it? What about your age? I'm going to take that as a yes. I wouldn't know. We've enjoyed it so far. It's been, as you will know, very wet this year. Um, and we've been desperate to come out and check this out. And today is the first day that we've had sunshine. So, unfortunately, Bryce has missed out. He's at work. But we've popped our wellies on and we've headed out. So, prices for here. It costs £20 for the three of us. And we went to Dragon Place and we eat snacks. We are eating snacks in the Dragon Place. So, the price for the three of us was £20. Um, I, I was ten pounds. Matilda was seven, and AJ was three. So not a bad deal. So we've had our snack, we've had a drink, we've had a bit of a play in the burrow. We are going to carry on and see if we can find the elusive seven eggs that we haven't found yet. How many eggs do we've got to find? Thirteen. Thirteen. And how many have we found so far? Five. So how many have we got left? Seven. Mud, mud, mud. Oh dear, my poor washing machine. Can I turn the camera on? Yeah. So, you have 13 eggs. You've already found five. How many do you have left? Seven. Seven. <laughs> it's not really a riddle, that was more of a maths question, but good effort. <laughs> mud like this always makes me think of Michael Rosen and going on a bear hunt. Squelchy, 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 squelchy mud. So we have survived the squelchy, squelchy mud. We're back on terra firma. We're heading up and I see, I see some flags in the distance. I wonder what that might mean. Oh look, what's that? What's that shiny thing? What's that big shiny thing? I wonder what it could be. What is it? What is it? I think it's an egg. Oh, is there any information? What does it say? Go round. Oh, it's a. S oh, exciting. So we found it. What egg is it? What does it say? The blah blah blue. Oh, let me have a look. The blah blah blue. I don't think that's right. I think it's. Stanic blue. Stanic meaning tin in Cornish. There might be another one. There might be another one. Let's go and see what we can find. Oh no, more mud. Ah. Oh, these are pretty bushes. Oh. So what have we found here? Oh, that's pretty. Don't touch it, because the mummy dragon might come for you. So what, what's this one? What does it say? This one is the Cooper's Cobra. It's buh. Is it a buh? It is a buh. Good job. Right, well, let's mark that on our uh, list. So some of these eggs are more hidden than others. Some of them you could easily walk past. Uh, luckily, I've got two expert spotters with me because um, we've just found a really pretty one just hanging from a tree. It's all rainbowy in colour. It's a ruh. It's a ruh. Ah, what's this one called? The blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the blah, blah, blah. The Titan Moonwig. The biggest problem with this is that I'm not very good at reading maps. So we are kind of relying on the fact that I can tell where we're going from this thing. We've done all right so far. So we're going to keep going and see what we find. Point just proved because we've literally just gone up there. So we're heading back down the path again and we're going to take a different turn and see if we can find more eggs. In my defence, it's not the clearest of maps. So uh, we'll see. We found more puddles to splash in, but there's a gathering of people up ahead. Hopefully that's a positive sign. Let's get a bit closer and see what we can see. So we're a bit tricksy here. We found the letter and we found the instruction. We found an arrow that AJ's hiding. But I can't actually see the egg. So who knows? Oh, what does that sign say? No swimming. No swimming. There might be a dragon. There might be a dragon. Well, let's head down and see. Careful heading down this slippery path to see if we can find 
more dragons and oh there's something out on the lake wait it looks like the egg so let's go down and see what we can see it's a very windy path but we're doing okay aren't we are we making it safely Stop age. Oh, it is a pine cone. Keep going. Oh, the pond. So, my advice if you're here with children is just be careful because the pond comes right up to the edge there. So just make sure that they know to be really careful. We are staying away from the lake, aren't we? We're being extra careful. And then over there, that's the egg that we couldn't find at the top, the lithium of the lake. So I wonder if there's anything else down here. Yes. So that dragon egg that we found at the top, lithium of the lake that we couldn't see that's because it is definitely that one it's down here which makes sense because this is the lake yes we are still squelching through the mud and these creatures are determined to fish for a dragon despite the fact that i've told them if a dragon comes i might not be able to save them Oh, Tilly's seen something. AJ's seen something. I wonder what it is. Oh. Oh, I think I see what they see. It's a golden egg. That's cool. That's really cool. And it's spinning. So can we find the information about the golden eggs? There's a big one. Yeah, well, I suspect the information isn't in the water, though, so let's go and see if we can find it. Oh, so we found the golden Malabarian egg, which is that one out there, hiding. And then over here, we've just found some silver sparkly things. Is it water wheels at Ennis? So as we're walking along, we've just found this beautiful old water wheel, obviously adjacent to the lake. So it's saying that these two water wheels associated with the house at Ennis, they were probably both installed in the 1820s. Shortly after the old house burnt down, as John Samuel Ennis was very concerned that his new house should not suffer a similar fate. One of these wheels can be seen down by the ponds. This was used to pump water to the house until replaced by the adjacent ram. The water was used for drinking until sickness occurred whilst the house was being used by the Dutch Navy and later by the school, after which it was connected to the mains. The second wheel is down in the valley opposite Carvinac. It was used to pump water to a reservoir on the hill above the house, now submerged in the brambles. This was used to feed the various fire hydrants which surround the house. Fair enough, if your house is burnt down, you're going to be extra cautious about that. Just on, on the water wheel, is this lovely little waterfall, and this tiny bridge that we've decided to walk across. Okay. Let's go! The sun is still shining. We're having a very lovely day. AJ wants to find a pine cone, so we're going to see if we can find one as we go. Because of the inclement weather that we've had, they've left the eggs down on the lake and around the lake, but they've moved the sides with the information so that if you don't want to go down by the slippery lake you don't have to the problem is we found the eggs <laughs> but we haven't found the signs to go with them so now we're on a search for the signs apart from aj who's on a search for pine cones so let's keep going and see if we can find any more of these signs you've got a whole collection of pine cones well that's good oh look there's an arrow 
Cornish Dragon Conservation Society. Okay. This way. But Tilly has managed to get crash into the floor in order to get her letters. But we found them. So, we've only got a couple left. South Terrace Terror and the Coyant Serpent and that might be it. So carried on walking. Found this clock tower. And then a sign that says the Museum of Dragon Artifacts. Well oh, let's go in and have a look and see what we can see in the museum. see oh. <coughs> some dragon blood samples that looks like the skeleton of a mermaid we've got a ginormous feather feather of the golden malbararian one of the dragons some claws tooth that might even be a dragon heart Oh, what's in there today? Oh, it's a dragon eye. That's cool. First aid for dragon use only. I like that. And then that might even be, oh, is that a little dragon? I would say maybe that's a fairy, but that's not, that's a dragon. That doesn't look like real bones. Oh. What's in there? Scales. Fascinating. I want to stay here. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Look! Oh. On the table. Oh, look, it's a baby dragon. Should I touch it? Oh, don't you? Don't want to wake it up. Now we've seen that there's a sleeping dragon in here, we think it's probably best that we make our escape. <gasps> but as we walk out, what can I see over there, children? Which one is it? Uh, this is the, the South Terrace Terror. Actually, like that. We've just done a little pit stop in the toilet. And then we are heading now through the New Zealand garden to see if we can find our elusive last egg. Here, eggy, eggy, eggy. That does look like pretty clear evidence of a dragon swipe. Now we know that this last one is going to cause us some trouble, don't we? <laughs> we found 12 out of 13 and now we're struggling to find the last one. But we'll keep looking. We'll figure it out. Unless it's hatched and it's flying around. We haven't found a dragon egg. Hey, Jay, Tappy. Oh, that tree looks sus, does it? Poor tree. I think it's sus. Just bumpy. We've made it back to the building, to the main Ennis house. So we're just heading this way, just to see if we can find this elusive last egg. But the flowers, I mean, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. So we've come round the house. We're back to where the Dragon Museum was. So we're gonna head sort of up here and turn left and see if we can see it. By the clock tower. The museum's back in there, which we just saw. And now we're gonna head up here and see if we can see it. That's where everything was. We're gonna carry on this path. There's people up there. 
So we're hopeful that that might be where the last leg is. Come on, kiddos. We can do it. I am gasping, so I'm getting a hot chocolate. And brew Cornwall. This one to be salty. So we have got some popcorn and apple juice and a hot chocolate oh, it's from again. Brew. And as we're sat here, we think we've noticed the glint of an egg in the distance. That might be the one that we're missing. So we're going to enjoy our drinks and then we'll head up and investigate that last one. So once I'm sat enjoying my brew, it's very nice I have to say, um, I thought it just useful to say that this um, dragon event is only on until the 11th of April but Ennis Garden do different types of events all year round so we'll pop a link in the description down below um, to their website so that you can check out I think during the summer they do a fairy event so you can come around and spot fairies um, and then you can just it's a private house that you can come and visit as well so you can come anytime so I'll pop a link in the description so they have gone to investigate what the last letter is for the egg up there. So you can just see the little egg poking out by the tree and on that fence there is the last letter. Three. What letter is it? Three. What letter is it? It's three. Yeah, and what letter's on the fence? Oh, we forgot to get the letter. Almost. So the egg is green, so I don't know if that's the Kynan serpent. Oh, now he's checking, as you can see, he's checking. Around the corner, he's going to be the first for the race back to mummy with the letter. Oh, and they've gone across the grass, oh no! <laughs> Who's going to be the first back? Oh, it's a... what letter is it? So we've done it. We've worked out the anagram. I'm not going to tell you what it is, just in case you watch this video and you come here and do it. But we think we've worked it out, so we're going to go and find the lady and see if we've got it right. So what did you get for completing it? You got a curly whirly each. That's amazing. Did you have a good day? Yeah! Yeah? Would you come back and do it again? Yeah? I would too. It's beautiful mm. here. What a fantastic day we've had. We've made the most of the sun when it's come out. We found 13 dragon eggs. We acquired some chocolate. What more could you want for a day out? So don't forget to like, subscribe, share us with all of your friends, follow us on all the socials. So from us to you, cheers and gone. Cheers and dragons. Cheers. Cheers and be 